Hello everybody, it's James, and on behalf of Neptic Fathers, I'm going to be bringing you all another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the three collections of the Lives of the Saints that I own, and I'll also be covering two apps that I think are really fantastic to use, and both of which happen to be free, that also include uh, the Lives of the Saints and a calendar. So the first one that I decided to get was the Great Synaxaristes of the Orthodox Church. Uh, and just so you guys know, this one's put out by uh, Holy Apostles Convent and Dormition Skeet. And both of these are under the Synod of Bishops of the Genuine Orthodox Church of America, which is Old Calendarist. So they're not in communion with the rest of the Orthodox Church. But this uh, collection that they put together in 14 volumes is absolutely fantastic. So I was actually, one of the reasons why I wanted to get this book is because this book here that I've been reading, or that I've read before, and then I was uh, brushing back up on, In Peace Let Us Pray to the Lord, is an orthodox interpretation of the gifts of the Spirit. And a lot of the lives in here that it references in the appendix would talk about different saints and how they spoke in tongues. But the problem was, is that I couldn't actually even find that information on the internet, so I only had the secondary source in order to look for that information. But by buying this collection here, I've been able to find all the uh, the lives of the saints that referenced them speaking in tongues in this set translated into English. And it was not even possible to find that information by Googling it. I actually spent a couple hours trying to find that online to see if I could you know, uh, reference websites, but I wasn't able to. So this one here is the prologue, and this was put uh, together by St. Nikolai. And this one here is put out by uh, Sebastian Press. Uh, this is the blue cover one. They have a more uh, recent one that's a red cover that includes the more recently canonized saints. And then here, this is also sold on the same website as uh, the prologue, uh, this uh, St. Sebastian website. And this one is the Synaxarian. It comes in seven volumes, and with the seventh volume being an, an index. So also, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but the prologue is in two volumes, uh, about $120 for the set. So going back to the great Synaxaristes of the Orthodox Church, 14 volumes, and as you can see here, a lot of the volumes are huge. They're very thick. Uh, this one here is over a thousand pages long. This is a little bit bigger compared to some of the other volumes, but uh, there's other volumes that are about this same size. So you get a lot of Lives of the Saints will actually be quite lengthy, like 60 pages long. So the ones, uh, one of the saints that I looked for that was uh, referenced in this book was Saint Iakovos, the new martyr. And his life was, I think, is like page 15 to page 55, something like that along those lines. So you get Lives of the Saints that are like 40, 50, 60 pages long, very in-depth Lives of the Saints that you actually might have to go and buy a paperback, like paperback collections where they're like 100 pages long. A lot of those paperbacks are actually referencing referencing like the Synaxaristes or what the Greek was, the original Greek. So the prologue here, a uh, lot shorter lives, and this is actually more kind of like a daily devotional. And so what it includes is this, some of the saints for the day. It's not exhaustive by any means, and neither is the great uh, Synax Aristes. But it'll include some of the saints for the day, and then it'll have kind of like a hymn of praise, a reflection, and then kind of a small homily, and also in, uh, a little section that's just kind of like things to think about, kind of like a meditation, a contemplation to think of for the day. So if you're wanting something like a daily devotional, this is a really good option here. And the Synaxarian here has more lives of the saint than like the, the prologue does. But these uh, collections here are more abridged versions of the lives of the saints. So if you're not wanting to, like through your daily devotionals, you're not wanting to pick up something that's, you know, 50, 60 pages long for a certain saint and you want, you want to have more than what the prologue offers, the Synaxarian is a great option. So, and this actually does have some of the stuff that was mentioned in peace, let us pray to the Lord, but it doesn't have everything in it. So when I make my next videos on the certain saints that have spoken tongues, um, I'll try to reference more than just the great Synaxaristes and, and use this. So the other thing that I'd like to talk about are the different apps 
that I use. And one of them actually references the prologue and it hyperlinks to that prologue reference for the day. So if you don't want to buy a hardback or can't afford to buy the hardback because they're kind of pricey, you can actually use the calendar app. And then the other one has a hypertext for the specific life of the saint for the day. So you got this Orthodox calendar here, and this is a great resource. And on this app, you got certain lives here that are written in kind of like a dark red. And if you click on those, then it opens it up to the uh, life of the saint. And so this actually has a ton of different saints on here, and they're easy to find. And you can also change the date between old and new calendar up at the top. This is one of the main resources that I used for uh, many years for the lives of the saints and for also the uh, daily scripture reading as well. So then you got this. So then we got this other app, and it's uh, app icons, a little green icon. And here you got uh, the list of the lives or list of the saints for the day. And over here on the options tab, it actually gives the prologue from Ored for the day. And if you click on that, then it opens up the browser, and then the browser links directly to the prologue entry for that day. So this is a fantastic resource for anybody that would love to have a portable version of the prologue or just one that's uh, online. Also, if any of you are interested in seeing whether or not uh, the lives of the, any particular saint that you're looking for is included in these volumes, I'm pretty sure that um, the indexes for these are actually included on the websites. So that's actually how I was able to find out that Saint Iacovos, the new martyr, was included in the life of the saint and actually gave page numbers so I knew that the length of the life that was uh, translated was actually fairly long. And so I was able to get it and find the reference. So if any of you are interested and also in if you have a saint and would like to know more about the saint and would like me to read um, any of the lives of the saints, it's very possible that if they're shorter, I can read those for anybody that's interested. So anybody that would like to hear more or would like any more information, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and ask questions. So if you like this content, the Orthodox content I put out, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, feel free to put comments in the comment section. <music>